Yo, what's up guys? Tobar Gaming here, and I'm bringing you some creative classes. I've only played this game for about maybe two hours since the game has been released. I have not fell asleep yet. I went to the midnight launch and got the game. And this is what I think of classes. This is my opinion. Uh, I suggest these classes. They do me good. Um, do me good. That's great grammar. Uh, I do good with them, and I played with a couple of my friends, and they did uh, pretty well with them too. So I'm going to go over them and show you them, and you can create your classes off of these, um, off of my classes. So basically, I'm going to do this one, custom class number one. It's the VMP. Uh, this submachine gun is very OP at the time. It's kind of like a, a Scorpion and PDW combined. It's so OP, they're probably going to nerf it. Uh, with them on the very first updates for this game so I would use it for the time being uh, you can literally get shot up turn around and kill someone within a matter of seconds the firing rate on this is very very fast and I run with a uh, red dot and quick draw because those are the only two things I've used I've only used it for a little bit but I love the weapon so much uh, and then for my perk one uh, it is Six cents, and then I have flat jacket because I think flat jacket's pretty good because a lot of people in this game throw flashbang or concussion grenades and frag grenades in the same area, so they explode and then that uh, protects you from getting uh, blown up by grenades and stuff and can save your life. And then fast hands and gun ho. Uh, mainly, these perks are going to be the same for every single class because I think that's a pretty good perk setup. Uh, when I have the level, I'm going to probably put on tactical mass so I'm probably gonna take away my secondary and then have a tactical mass with gun ho and then six cents and flat jacket because I think tactical mass is very uh, useful with this game because a lot of people like I said throw concussion grenades every single place you go and especially nuketown nuketown is just full of concussion grenades so I would suggest uh, getting up to level what is it 16 or 14 and uh, getting that tactical mask on Anyway, the secondary doesn't really matter. I never use it. I just left it on because why not? Uh, so here's custom class two. It's the CUDA. Probably one of my favorite guns from the beta. I was destroying people with this weapon. I don't have any of the attachments that I had for the beta. Uh, I do remember I used red dot, so the reflex sight, quick draw, and then grip and probably stock if I remember correctly because you can run very fast because with the stock you can aim in faster and move. And that's what I use because sometimes you'd aim in around corners and stuff and get the kill real quick. And then grip, it just adjusts your accuracy and makes you so much, uh, it gets less recoil. So therefore, a more accurate shot. And then I just don't have anything. I might as well, you know what, let's just throw a pistol in there because why not? Um, and stem tech, and like I said, the same exact perks. This is a pretty, alright, this is a pretty decent shotgun. Uh, it is a semi-auto shotgun. It it's like a Sega 12 basically, or is that what it was from Black Ops 2? I have no clue. But it's uh, really good for Nuketown anyway. I've only used this uh, shotgun on Nuketown, and I've gotten tons of kills with it. Uh, same thing, I've only used it for so long, seeing how I have reflex and quick draw, but still, I thought this was a pretty monstrous gun. Uh, so that's that. And then this is baby, this is basically my baby right here. It's called the Gorgon or whatever. Uh, this thing is amazing. It is a light machine gun. Literally, this thing's like a 50 cal. Two shots and it kills someone with full health. And then one shot if they're like probably 75 health and below. This weapon just demolishes people. And I have reflex, quick draw, and grip on this. And this thing literally is so stable and it takes shots so easily. The firing rate is very slow on it, but it's literally a 50 cal and it tears into people. And I suggest using this on Nuketown and camping up in the houses. Uh, to get lots of feeds and stuff. I'm probably gonna play some uh, clips of me getting some pretty sick feeds with this heavy auto, uh, with this Gorgon or whatever, whatever you pronounce it, with this 50 cal LMG. It's just amazing and demolishes people. And then final is the Haymaker 12. This shotgun is basically like the A12, so it's an automatic shotgun. You can just hold it down, get tons of kills. Uh, I've went on a triple feed. I. I do remember on Nuketown, I've been playing a lot of Nuketown because it is Nuketown 2027 or 247 or whatever it is, what they call it in this, and uh, this this has saved me a couple of times, but like I said, I've been using uh, the Gorgon because it just is a monstrous weapon. 
uh, for Nuketown anyway, because you just camp up in the house and everyone's running around the map and you can take every single person off. It's amazing. It's basically like a sniper rifle. I have no clue. You'd have to use it. This weapon's just amazing. Uh, as you can tell, uh, I am a little tired, so I guess this is not making much sense, but this is my uh, tutorial guide on making classes. Uh, so yeah, hopefully you guys like this video like comment and subscribe i'm going to be posting so much more black ops 3 gameplay throughout the future this is just the start of it i'm probably going to do some uh zombie gameplay funny moments or something i have no clue what i'm going to do yet but lots of multiplayer stuff playing with friends uh maybe doing more class stuff like this if you guys like this to help you guys out to get some more kills and to level up faster and yeah i uh, hope you guys enjoy and see you guys later